Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today we're talking about the MXG Gear Pocket Clip. All right. Now, first off, I have to say that this is just one of many styles. There's probably at least, I don't know, 10 or so different style pocket clips, maybe even more. All right, and they make them for all different knives, um, all different styles. This one, of course, is blacked out, which happens to match this blacked out Spyderco Para 3 very nicely. Um, but, you know, this is just one particular style. I just want to make that a point because you may want a different style. And my experiences with this has obviously nothing to do with a different style pocket clip. Okay, this is very specific to their short version um, of their deep conceal clip on this specific knife. Because right now, this is the only experience I have with the pocket clip. I would eventually swap this to different knives to get an idea, maybe a, a PM2 or something. You know, other knives that's going to happen to fit. Um, but right now, this is my experience with the, again, I believe this is the shortest one that MXG Gear offers, okay, on this Power 3. But, <laughs> big thumbs up. I really like it. I think it's cool. So, um, the reason I'm making this video is because I tried a Lynch Clip, uh, L-Y-N-C-H, uh, for the first time, I don't know, a couple months ago, whatever, I, when I posted that video. I tried it on a, a Mini Griptilian, and I hated it. I was not a fan of it at all. Uh, but then I gave it a second chance on a full-size Griptilian, and I loved it. It just has to do with, you know, the exact knife that it's on and the placement of that pocket clip. On some knife designs, in some positions, it's uncomfortable. In other ones, it was very comfortable. All right, so I will like to, or would like to, put this uh, clip onto other Spydercos that it happens to fit and just see what the experience is with those. But for now, I've been really happy with it on this uh, Power 3. All right, so... In its uh, position, I don't feel it at all. I really, I, I don't even feel that it's there. Um, I think it, aesthetically it looks fantastic. Obviously it matches because it's black. In fact, I want to talk about that real quick because uh, in visiting the site, I did not see this exact clip available right now. I saw the exact style, two different versions of the style, but they're both in like a satin gray uh, or like a bead blast type uh, finish or color. Um, and they had a variety of different styles and shapes and stuff. So. I mean, there's a bunch of different ones to choose from, but the exact black one I just could not find at the moment. However, as far as price goes, I did see that the black versions of the same clips were about like $3 more, okay? So to give you an idea, this one, this style, sells for $24, which I think is their cheapest clip. All right, I'm gonna get back to that in a moment. Um, and then they go all the way up to like, there's a custom one for 45. So let's just say around 30 bucks, all right? And then of course you have to calculate shipping on top of that. Um, but the black one, I would imagine, would have been 27 So imagine like three bucks more if you wanted that black finish. But anyway, uh, so my experiences of the MXG Gear clip compared to like the Lynch clip, uh, again, really is going to depend on the knife, but I really do love this style. I think I do prefer the MXG over the Lynch, just in the very limited experience I've had with this on this knife, and of course the, um, the Lynch clip on the Griptilians, both the, the large and the small. All right, so here's an even closer view. I have to say, I mean, it's comfortable in the hand to actually use the knife. It, it kind of disappears. I don't notice it. There's absolutely no hot spots, which is the most important thing. But I kind of like this hourglass design. It's kind of wider on the top, okay, which holds the pocket very nice. Uh, and then it, it dips down to a little bit thinner, but then it comes out to a larger paddle, let's call this. All right, there is enough of an angle on there, so it's very easy to get in and out of the pocket because it, it does stick up that lip. Uh, it just grabs easier, where sometimes I'll have to, if this angle is a little lower, I'll have to like, you know, use my fingernail or something to, to initiate it. But this is very easy. I literally just pushed it, overcame the uh, pants material, and it was easy to get on and easy to get off. It did hold very nicely as well. You can see that it is a deep, deep concealed clip, and then it just wraps around here. Um, in this particular case, you can see it blocks that lanyard hole just a little bit. Once you have a lanyard on it, it doesn't really matter that much, but I do believe they have a second version of this that has a slightly different... I don't know, profile, I guess, that allows more of that lanyard hole to be shown in case you, you know, put a lot of value on putting a lanyard on your knife. Um, my only gripe with this at all is that the hole that's on here doesn't really line up with the screw heads. It's kind of hard to see because it's all black. I can't give you a total overhead, but if I give you kind of a side profile, you could see the holes down here and the screw heads are just a little bit higher. All right, so what I would have liked to see Again, in this one, at least because they, they offer a different one that's, you know, more accessible for that lanyard hole. But I'd like to see this be even higher so that the hole could be aligned perfectly with the screw heads. All right. You can obviously access them, but the, the top screw, the third screw on top there, 
you're on a little bit of an angle, okay, which makes it easy to strip. You have to really watch what you're doing. Um, so that, that's important. I think some people out there might have this on there. Maybe you, you decide, eh, I don't want to, I don't want to have it anymore. I'll take it off. Or even initially putting it on, if you're not careful and you don't have that, that bit buried inside that screw head, you could strip it. Okay. Um, so I don't like that fact, but you know, I don't, I haven't heard anyone having those specific problems. It's just, it's a potential problem. But I do like the overall profile. I do like how it carries. I do like how it feels. That is the most important thing of all is that when this is in hand, it's not uncomfortable. Okay, so there's no hot spots, which is very nice. All right, and again, that's specific to this exact knife. I can't speak for other Lynch clips, or excuse me, other MXG clips on other knives. Um, I wonder if it's the opposite. I wonder if I put this on a larger knife that it's compatible with, if it will actually create a hot spot. I don't know, because this does come up enough where I can imagine that would be poking in. But on this exact setup, it's beautiful. It works great. Again, my only gripe is that this hole is not totally aligned with those screw heads, um, but obviously it's not a huge problem because tons and tons of people have these out there and I haven't heard of anyone having a problem, you know, stripping the screw. But uh, but yeah, MXG gear. Now, as far as price, let's go back to it. 24 to, let's say, $45 from the cheapest to most expensive option on their site. That's a lot of money for a pocket clip. You know what I mean? I mean, I know people like customizing things. I totally get that. Um, for an aftermarket pocket clip, like, I just, I would really love to see this be 15 bucks, you know, but it is what it is. I don't price these things. It's the, the price of admission. If you want a ticket to ride, that's the price you got to pay. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse as far as uh, custom pieces. They actually also sell uh, hardware for different knives and they're basically like custom standoffs. Now that I think is a little much. Um, I think they're very, very cool, but like you get a set of two standoffs, again, depending on whatever knife it is. And some are like um, bronze. I think they have a, a blue titanium finish and then they have like just a regular polished titanium or something. Those are $20 for a set of two. So you're talking about $10 each for just a little disc, or it's more like a, um, a T-shaped disc, let's say. So you have a, a, a hole in the middle and then a flat side, flat side, and then that kind of tube shape. Yeah, I mean, again, it's it's just on par. If you look at all custom knife parts, they're all expensive. So it's not like they're, you know, priced too high. I just think in general, the aftermarket parts uh, industry is just priced high. But that's what it is. If you want to customize your, your knives and, and make them really stand out and stuff, those are the prices you're going to pay. So overall, I really do like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it functions. And that's a win. It's a total win. And like I said, the price is on par, I guess. It's a little bit more than the Lynch Clips from memory, um, but it, you know, if that's what you want, that's the price it costs, right? But, um, but yeah, I do like it. I would definitely recommend it. I would say that if I were going to buy a, uh, an aftermarket deep conceal clip, I'd probably consider MXG for the variety. They do have some other ones that have like some different styles. Like they have ones with uh, skull cutouts. They have one with like a cross. So there's kind of like, it's even more custom you know, and more of a, a specific look for your knife, which is pretty cool. I mean, you know, keep in mind, obviously, when you have your, your knife in your pocket, the thing that people see is the pocket clip. So having a cool pocket clip is really kind of a fashion statement, you know, especially if you had ones with designs and cutouts and stuff in them. So I totally get it, and uh, I'm on board. Um, I don't, like, you know, customize a lot of the knives because you guys know they're in and out. Uh, there's so many knives I don't even have that long. So to spend the time and money on custom clips just to trade them away, it's not frequent. However, this is a knife I plan on, on having and using for a very long time. Eventually, I'll probably do a review on this. I wanna say I did a review on the Para 3 before, but I don't know if I had the lightweight or not. This is just a regular G10 scale, so I'd have to revisit that and see. I wanna say it was maybe the lightweight, but who knows? If I didn't do a review on this, I'll certainly do one in the future. Um, but for now, I just wanted to focus on that pocket clip. So, carries great. It is deep conceal compared to the regular spreadicle clip, but it's not, you know, completely gone. Do you know what I'm saying? You will see that, that just that butt end there, um, which is something you want, obviously, if you put on that, um, that lanyard, so you can have the lanyard hanging out of the pocket. But anyway, that is it for now. MXG gear clips, pretty cool. I like them. And again, such a variety is really nice, too, for people to choose from. But as far as black, I only saw really those kind of custom clips. I don't know if that's something that they discontinued. Um, or if it's something they just don't have uh, in stock at the moment. But as of the, the filming of this video, uh, I did not see this exact puck clip on there. But anyway, that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you pimp your knives? 
you get a brand new knife for your EDC, are you throwing on different clips? Are you getting different backspacers and standoffs and you know hardware? That's a, another popular thing is people are doing different hardware so you can get colored screw heads and stuff. I get it, it's really cool. It's nice when you have like a really vibrant color on like a lighter color, like I've seen people have like a bright purple hardware on you know like a light tan colored scale or white scale or something like that. I mean, it really pops, it looks cool. I, I totally get it, but in some cases you're, you're spending almost as much or more on the customization than you are the actual knife, but you know, I don't know, that, that I guess occurs in all hobbies. How many people have a $500 gun that they put, you know, $2,000 worth of accessories on, you know, <clears throat> ARs, right? <laughs> Which by the way, as a, a side note, I did that to my AR as well. I, uh, I foolishly said I was going to keep it stock. And people laughed at me, and for good reason. This has nothing to do with this knife, by the way, but I'm just talking. And, uh, you know, I put a bunch of crap on it, magnifier, and, um, you know, I had a, a front handguard uh, cover that I wanted to put for a light mount, and I had a light on it, and a laser, and all, I had all this stuff. I took it all off. Uh, recently, I, on Instagram, I posted a picture. I got a different uh, Strike Industries um, charging handle, which I absolutely love. It's an extended charging handle. But anyway... The point is, you can accessorize things and spend way more. I mean, cars are probably another example of that. How many people have, you know, a uh, $800 cat-back exhaust system on their, you know, $600 Civic? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I guess it's common. It's cool making things your own and customizing it. And there's a lot of joy that's brought to you when you do that stuff. So, I see no difference in knives. It's just something that I don't do often because of my situation. But if I was keeping all my knives all the time, yeah, I would certainly customize them just to make them special. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. So that's all. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.